Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2018 mid-month readings. Thank you for joining us here. Welcome any newcomers. Thanks for all your likes, share, subscribes, and your support, feedback, and comments. And uh, thank you to all of my clients out there, regular and new, for keeping me so busy with uh, personal one-on-one -on -one readings. Always an honor and a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, <clears throat> If any of you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me, you can get the information and all my contact details by clicking on the little About button you'll find on my YouTube channel's homepage or uh, clicking on the description bar of all the videos that I post. Uh, turnaround time for personal readings is usually pretty fast because I do readings full-time five to six days a week. So if you're interested, email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I do a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. Uh, okay, so moving right into this, this reading is for the fire sign of Leo, Leo the Lion for July 2018 mid-month. We're just looking at the last half of July, the last couple of weeks. If you know you're rising in your moon sign, watch those videos as well. They can provide additional clarification or they may resonate sometimes more predictively for you at different times. General readings, of course, because there's so many of you watching, are always going to vary in how they resonate in the details and specifics and intensity, uh, but the energy and advice fundamentally remains the same. All right, Leo. Let's see what's in store for you for the last half of July. We begin with the devil, followed by death or transformation. Next we have the star, followed by the empress. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy, guidance, and advice for the remainder of July 2018 is the five of swords. Holy tarot, Leo, what's going on? You have uh, <clears throat> you have four major arcana cards that uh, represent the body of your reading for the remainder of July. And I, I actually really love this combination of cards um, because I feel like you, like a lot of people recently, uh, particularly through the spring, have been going through um, some very difficult and challenging times. And of course, in general readings, the intensity of that's going to vary. Some of you, it may have been a minimally challenging time. Some of you, it may have been, you know, uh, like going through a war, so to speak. Uh, but you're coming out uh, victorious, uh, which is the overall energy and guidance uh, for the remainder of July. Your crowning card is the Five of Swords. Uh, swords is air, air energy, and in the tarot, this is the energy of basically the mind, our thoughts, our belief systems, our perceptions, perspectives, how we look at things, because that directly relates uh, and affects how we relate to the world and to people around us and people in the world in general. It's a mental, cerebral, intellectual energy. It's all about what we think up here, truth, enlightenment. It's also uh, learning and higher education as well. So the Five of Swords is a card of victory, a hard-won victory. Often the question that accompanies the Five of Swords is, uh, is this battle worth it or has a battle been worth it? A cautionary piece of advice is, you can see that this man is um, just finished a, a victory, a battle, a challenge, a fight of some kind, or, or a struggle, and his opponents are defeated. He's gathered up all of his own swords, and his own is, is being held aloft in victory. <clears throat> but it's been a hard fight. It's been a hard victory. This is one which hasn't come easily. And sometimes, sometimes the people that are on the ground behind him can represent coming out on top or winning at the cost of personal relationships. Now, even within that scenario, sometimes when we go through major struggles in our life and we kind of push through um, in a new direction or a different direction, you know, not everybody is always going to come along with us. And uh, so when the accompanying question is, is this worth it or is it not? Does this victory also come at the uh, uh, you know, it's cost a lot, whether it's been a cost in personal relationships, thoughts and belief systems as well, changing and adjusting. Uh, sometimes the answer is yes, and sometimes the answer is no. Uh, he's worn out, tired, exhausted, and he's bleeding from a little cut on his forehead. Again, it hasn't been an easy, an easy challenge or an easy battle, but he's coming out on top. Uh, cautionary advice is, you know, sometimes I see this card come up 
when someone is so ambitious at work or so driven in their relationships to be right to have the last word that it ends up causing a lot of conflict or chaos or loss in personal relationships so kind of you know keep that in mind as well but I, I feel like for the majority of you if not all of you Leo it, it, it is literally what it appears to be a hard-won victory and I feel like for some of you, because there's this transformation of, 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 of an imbalance kind of being restored, I feel like for a lot of you, um, this victory and the challenge that preceded it uh, is something that has challenged the way that you look at something fundamentally, um, a belief system or your thoughts about uh, a situation. And because, you know, because um, the body of your reading is all major arcana cards, you know, and it's a general reading. What area of your life this is this is uh, resonating in is going to vary. Some of you, it's going to be within personal relationships. Some of you, it's going to be within other kind of relationships. Some of you, it may be in job, work, and career as well. Uh, but it looks like you have come through a very difficult time uh, victoriously, although it has had its costs. Uh, and there's a transformation of imbalance occurring. I actually, you know, we, we start with the devil and death or transformation as I like to call it. The devil represents <clears throat> pretty significant imbalance. Um, and this imbalance can manifest in a variety of ways. It can represent addictions, toxic relationships, strong temptations or vices, doing things to excess in a way that's, that's harmful. Uh, imbalance means that there's too much attention uh, and focus in one area to the detriment of others, regardless of how that manifests. So uh, imbalance, uh, significant and profound imbalance. Now it's clarified by death or transformation, which is, which is that. Uh, death usually represents something falling away, something completely dying, a significant, there's a significant ending here in order for rebirth to occur because birth follows death and beginnings follow endings. That's the way, um, oops, sorry, let me turn my phone off here. That's the way, that's the nature, um, that's the nature of life. It's kind of the cycle of life. Within every ending are the seeds for the next thing, the seeds for the new beginning, uh, or the complete and utter transformation of something. And typically, you know, death and the tower card are often linked together because they often represent the ending or dissolution of something. Uh, death can sometimes represent a more external ending or a circumstance or environment ending as well. But it, when death shows up, it usually represents that the thing that's ending has been there for quite a long time. Whether it's a relationship, a situation, some of you I'm actually getting a move from this, a physical move or relocation uh, or relationship. And some of you, it can represent um, a value system or a belief system or a way of looking at something, a way of, of, of operating uh, within a certain situation or relationships as well. Some of you, I feel like this combination of the devil and death is that there is a lot of change going on. Um, you've obviously just come through something and you have been victorious. You're succeeding, even though there, there was, you know, some wounds during this battle, some costs. Uh, you are winning. You are prevailing. Um, and I feel like maybe what you're feel, what some of you are feeling is kind of this transformation is occurring uh, of this recent imbalance. Uh, and I feel like for some of you, there's just a little bit still kind of lingering, but it is transforming. I, I feel like some of you, this, uh, you're actually going through a physical move, relocation, geographical change, travel, or maybe a combination of all of those. And I did, I have felt that for some of the signs. Uh, for the last, you know, month to two months as well. And there's just kind of, you know, some upheaval going on uh, because of that physical upheaval. Those of you who are moving, relocating, traveling, there's some physical upheaval as well. But I feel like for, for more of you, because something, I feel like for some of you, you something was brought to your attention in a really profound way recently because of this struggle, this chaos, this battle, whatever that you've been through. Um, and what was brought up was, I think for a lot of you, a way that you have of, of behaving, a pattern of behavior based on 
um, maybe a fundamental thought process, maybe that started a long time ago, and you're working very hard, you have worked very hard, and you are working very hard to kind of overcome that, take a look at where it comes from, uh, fix it, and bring this sense of, of imbalance back in harmony, restore balance and restore harmony. There's this, um, you know, major transformation going on. Uh, now we end the month uh, towards or at the end of July 2018 we have a magnificent combination of cards we have the star and the Empress so the star is a card of renewed hope faith and optimism and I say renewed because typically this is a card that shows up after a period of darkness or difficulty or struggle uh, you know, it's darkness into light, winter into spring, sickness into health. Uh, for those of you who have been, you know, ill, pr particularly significantly ill, this is a, a, a card of recovery because it's peace. It's it's a, ca a card of peace and healing, but it's also one of the major wish fulfillment cards in the tarot too. It's a card of walking in faith and confidence that if you give your all as this woman is doing, she's completely emptying her pictures out into the body of water that she's kneeling in, in perfect faith and confidence because she knows when she she needs her pictures refilled they will be uh, because the source itself is limitless so <clears throat> it's it's walking in faith uh, it's giving your all doing what's in front of you to do step by step knowing that the path that you're on is the right one allowing yourself to be led and believing in divine timing and orchestration um, it's renewed hope faith and optimism it's usually after a period of, of darkness or challenge of some kind and you wake up one morning and you realize that you know the Sun is still shining life is still meant to be lived and there's still many joys and blessings and wish fulfillment on that path for you and I love how that flows because you have been through something very difficult uh, you are overcoming there's a sense of balance and harmony being restored um, and an old old way of, of, of behaving of operating of living of of looking at things um, is undergoing a transformation so there's renewed hope faith and optimism and the star is clarified and accompanied by the Empress the traditional earth mother of the tarot this is about loving about nurturing um, she is the uh, that balance between um, the sensual and tangible and the unsent un, un, and the the uh, intangible and unseen sort of thing she kind of maintains that that perfect balance uh, she represents fertility which means that the time is right to plant seeds to conceive you know to, to it, the time is right for conception to plant seeds to begin to grow and manifest something different it's not about culmination or fulfillment here uh, fertility I mean for some of you it could be literal fertility but for others of you, fertility means that the time is right to begin something new. And when we begin something, we take the little seed and we put it in the ground and we cover it up. And initially, it doesn't look like there's anything going on. Uh, but underneath the surface of the soil, uh, things are germinating furiously. Life and energy is always moving. It's always fluid. So the Empress is usually, when the Empress comes up, it's a green light for beginning something, um, sowing the seeds, conceiving something that you will continue to grow and manifest to its full potential. It's also a mother card. Some of you, this sense of renewed hope, faith, and optimism, your mother might be a significant source of that, or you might be, as a mother, the significant source of that for somebody else um, as well. Definitely a sense of renewed hope, faith, and optimism here. Um, and, it, and, and the time is right to start planting the seeds to grow something different to manifest something different in in your life and this is such a beautiful powerful reading all these major arcana cards but i love the flow of it leo you've come through this challenge balance is being restored you're working hard on that a transformation is occurring there's a sense of renewed hope faith and optimism as you begin to plant the seeds to sow something more beautiful as time goes on because when death shows up it represents that what is ending is usually something that's been there for a while and it is time for it to end uh, beautiful beautiful powerful reading leo um, so happy to bring it to you well thank you so very much for watching Leo that pretty much wraps up your July 2018 mid-month readings uh, I hope you have enjoyed them and found them useful again if you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage click on the little about button for more information on my contact details you can email me directly at Maggie the number one McGuire at gmail.com I would be most happy to work with you uh, turnaround time is pretty fast and I'll work with you uh, to set up a reading as quickly as possible live or recorded 
For those of you who like to utilize the smartphone app Instant Go, you can also find me there under Irish Gypsy for quick answers to quick questions. I believe there's some promotional deals on there uh, right now as well. So I will see you all again in a couple of weeks, Leo, for the August 2018 general readings. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care, Leo, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.